Hello everyone, welcome to another one of my soap making video. This is Helen from Moonlit Soap Work. Uh, today we are doing uh, Amy's soap challenge for this month, which is May of 2016. And the technique this month that we are all learning is the tear drop swirl. So it's basically a um, a bar of soap that have a tear drop in the middle. Uh, very interesting technique. I'm very excited to try it out. Is this one based on a Amy's demonstration? It's going to require a lot of patience because it's a lot of slow pouring and precisions and so on and so on. Patient that I don't normally have too much of. Anyhow, so um, here's my oil and my light solution and I'm to it. I'm going to add some sugar water that I already pre-mix up and a big shout out to this Matistic uh, Mountain Sage. As you can see, I am going to be using their cherry blossom fragrant oil that I just got in the mail and I got a whole bunch of goodies from them in the mail. Um, a couple months ago, I it was also one of Amy's uh, soap challenge, I believe it's the Lotus, um, the Lotus Swirl challenge that uh, afterward, uh, obviously I didn't do too well, but afterward um, they reached out to me because they were one of the second prize or third prize sponsor and they want, uh, they somehow chose a mind to be an unofficial um, prize winner for for theirs, so I'm extremely ecstatic about it, obviously, and they gave me a nice little gift certificate so I could go and shop in their website and try out a lot of their goodies. I have never ordered from them before, so this is going to be an awesome way for me to try it out. I got their, um, I got their cherry blossom, and I got the cucumber and melon fragrance from them, and I got the chocolate mousse one from them. I also got this beautiful purple lavender field color that I'm, I'm going to be using in this soap. So in this particular batch of soap, I'm going to be using two of the products, um, uh, the cherry blossom and the the purple color, which is the lavender field. And it's going to be really, really fun. So, um... And on top of the purple color, as you can see, I'm already pre-mixed that color into it. This is their beautiful, beautiful purple. So it's going to be a deep, deep purple if I could, if I can help it. And hopefully I mix it up. And then I'm also using the Key West Blue from um, Matte Oil which I have used it before in one of my other batch, I believe it's a frozen batch, and, and it came out to be really beautiful, like almost like sky blue. And then the other color I'm using is a um, mix of my all stable crafters choice uh, neon Tuesday footy and the mandarin red, a little bit of the mandarin red from um, neutral soap supplies. So to just to tone down that bright pink from the Neon to Sifuri, just a little bit. And this is going to be uh, the cherry blossom color. This, so I have the cherry blossom. It's going to be a purple and pink layered teardrop with a blue base. Okay, so enough talking. Um, let's make some soap.
Okay. This is pretty much, I am pretty sure it's a fail, unless it surprised me, which it probably won't. So this is the, this is the cherry blossom and tear drop attempt. And um, we'll see how it come out. It might surprise me, but I doubt it will. Okay, there we go. Now, for the double feature, <laughs> as you, as, as everybody know, my soap always have a double feature. So, I'm going to use the rest of the soap. And I'm going to be just a straight pull. It's going to be a tall and skinny one. Love this color. And these color combinations are very unique because it's kind of like a, I was gonna go for sky blue, but they came out to be like a pale green, which is nice too. I kind of like it's kind of like almost like a J green thing going on there, so that is pretty. Complaining a bit, and this purple came out beautiful. Look at how pretty. It's very hard to get a good purple to stick. A lot of the moody morph into like a gray. Sometimes, okay, I have even seen some of my soap form that like it turned into a like, neon color, which is pretty scary. But this, this is the lavender feel from um, Majestic Mountain Stage Sage, or you can go to thesage.com to get it. This is a beautiful, beautiful purple. And then, some more color. And I'm still debating if I want to do a spoon swirl, which I am. <laughs> I wasn't sure what I'm going to do, actually. Spoon swirl sounds good. The thing about spoon swirl is that you want to like over swirl it. It almost looks like you're messing it up. That's when the color is going to be beautiful on the inside. So never be afraid. So that's that. And then I'm going to pour some more on these in. On this color. This side right here is rising up just a little bit. I'm not sure why. Could just be me. And then I have some white, which I think I'm going to go in with it on the top in a second. I saved this white earlier for something. And, and then I make some, this is going to be what I try out my little cherry blossom little um it came i use these little i bought these from um the crafter's choice one i got it from a wholesale uh wholesale supply plus and basically it's a little tiny tube shape um so it's not gonna go in there as an embed so we'll see how that go And I want this one to get pushed down a little bit more, so I'm pushing this one down. It's gonna have some, and then I make one more over here. I'm gonna put one on this end. And it, hopefully when it's done, it should give me this Pretty little cherry blossom, a couple of little cherry blossom embed in there, that'll be really nice. Okay, this looks good. And I'm gonna go in there with a little bit of white. Okay. 
Jones. And this beauty, this green is really pretty. It's actually quite amazing how pretty that green really is. So I'm gonna go in with this with a little bit of color. Go in there with a little bit of, of a swirl. I'm gonna do a spoon top once again. So I'm gonna do a little spoon top swirl and it will, it will help it. It's gonna make the top look a lot prettier than this one. You don't need a lot to do the spoon top. So I normally just scrape the bottom. Okay, it went from a spoon top to a swirl top. Okay, beautiful and pretty glitter always help my soap. And then from over here, just I don't even know why. I'm gonna scoop it up anyway. <laughs> ah, silly. Okay. Mm. There you have it. This is my, I should have thought, this is my fail attempt, I believe. Pretty sure it's fail attempt on the tear job. And this is the we get it um, in the pot, you know, chop swirl designed on my torn skinny. The exact same fragrance from Majestic Mountain Sage. This is um, cherry blossom. Smell really, really, really nice in here. So stay tuned for the cutting video on both of uh, these. Thank, once again, thanks for tuning in. If you like what you've seen so far, even if this is a fail attempt, uh, if you like what you've seen so far, please go ahead and click that thumb up. And if you'd like to uh, watch any of my future videos, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for all the support. And stay tuned for the cutting video. Happy soaping.